Welcome, folks, to what promises to be a great Tuesday night of the NBA on 2K Sports. We'll watch the Chicago Bulls in this one as they go up against the Philadelphia 76ers. I'm Kevin Harlan, joined by Clark Kellogg and Mike Fratello on the sideline, David Aldridge. point Mike how much do you know about your team as a coaching staff uh, how many tweaks can be made in what you've got in front of you most coaches know what their fate is going to be at this point are we contenders can we make the playoffs they know what needs to happen for these goals to be obtained poke loose cheeks kicks to Irving has to Malone fader on the way Good work there as it goes. More than just a low post player, Malone can knock down Jays. Here's Watley. Pass to Corzine. He doesn't hit that one. Good D by Jones. Here's Cheeks. Not wasting any time and taking the shot and knocking it down. Nice looking mid-range J. Give Cheeks these opportunities, and he doesn't pass them up. Watley passes to Warren. Forcing with him. And Jones pulls it down. First quarter just over a minute played. Philadelphia moving the ball around. Here's Malone. The shot from the low post is good. Malone's got his second bucket. Malone on mm, the pain area of the floor. Nobody coming in there messing with him. There's the pass to Warren. First personal foul. First team foul. First quarter, about a minute and a half in. Watley passes to Warren. Six on the shot clock. Passes it to Watley. Shoots over Cheeks. Watley, good. Here's Cheeks. He's a good contributor to his team, averaging about 10 and a half points a game. Pass to Richardson. Here's Malone. And the layup's good off the glass. Malone's got his third basket of the night. A red-hot beginning to this game. Well, he's a real good offensive player, so they want to get him going early. Has to Warren. Corzine inside, working on Malone. The shot by Corzine, no good. Well, there wasn't much there in terms of defensive pressure. I'm sure he'd like another crack at that shot. Shoots from the high post. Chicago grabs the miss. He was all alone. Just couldn't get it to go. And you hope that doesn't deter him from taking that shot in the future. But from the mid-range, you really want to avoid contested attempts. And there's the pass to Irving. Shot on the wing. The rebound by Corzine. You don't get a lot of those chances. He's going to want that shot back. And here we go. The Bulls fast break. Greenwood shot is good. Now that's how you capitalize on the fast break chance. Yeah, points can be hard to come by in this league, so you welcome any chance at an easy bucket. Now here's Cheeks. His last outing, 16 points for him. And out of bounds as Chicago gains possession. And as always, the mid part of the NBA season, quite a grueling part of the schedule. Right now, let's check out how the standings are shaping up in the East. Look at Philadelphia. Right now, they've compiled the third best record in the conference. And of course, Chicago, they have a lot of ground to make up. And so here is Chicago. Four point game. Their last meeting was in Philadelphia, where they were unable to fight off the 76ers. Never a good feeling to lose a game on the road, especially when it comes as a result 
of not putting forth the kind of effort you need to on defense. You hit the nail on the head. Inexcusable defense, in my opinion. I'm sure Coach let them all know about it after the game. Malone can't hit. And this is how you defend a player like him. Nice job contesting without fouling. Warren, the pass to Watley. Maurice Cheeks. First personal foul. Second team foul. Outside Warren. Passes it to Watley. Here's Theus. Five to shoot. You know, he's a guy that can guard multiple positions. When Dr. J is dialed in defensively, I think it takes his team to another level. Shoots from the right block. 11 feet out, and he hits it. Well, you want the ball in his hands. A real good offensive player. Bulls trail by four. Warren on the wing. Screen by Corzine. And Warren, here we go. Here's Watley. Looking at his point production, he averages almost eight points a game. Shoots over Cheeks. Pass to Theus. Over in the corner, Warren. Corzine with a screen on Cheeks. Watley passes to Corzine. Good! Boy, Corzine using his muscle and strength to get that shot in despite the aggressive and tight defense. Chicago shooting their first free throw attempt on the night. Edwards, he's checked in for Philadelphia. At the line for Chicago. What's that? Corzine, one shot. As a rookie, Dave Corzine played in the NBA Finals with Washington, a key part of their bench. Richardson outside. He kicks it to Malone. And change shot, and the layup is good. Malone's got eight. Probably the greatest rebounder we've ever seen. Malone excels at patrolling the offensive glass. Watley passes to Warren. Malone with the block. And they're pushing it up. Here's Irving. And they cash in right away with the quick shot. Irving's got his second basket. It's difficult trying to stay with Irving in transition because he leaks out quick and knows how to execute. Here's Watley. He points his last outing. Takes the 13-footer. A nice shot by Theus. Able to rise above the defense. Not too many guards the size of Theus. Outside Edwards. It's Richardson on the wing. Wants to get it to Malone and does. Outside Irving. Edwards kicks to Richardson. Over Warren. Again, Philadelphia. Bulls trail by five. Here's Watley. Here's Theus. No good there. Some solid defense there from Irving. Over in the corner, Edwards. Malone. And then Malone with the dunk. You better really bring it to stop Malone. He's a load. Malone's gone five of seven from the field. That's uh, over 71% actually. Here's Theus, covered by Irving. Knocked away. Six to shoot. Here's Theus. Up again. Great positioning on the putback. I love the pursuit there he showed on tracking down that board. Yeah, fearless, wasn't he, Clark, on the glass, and it pays off for him. For sure. And the hunger that he plays with, you can't teach that. And here are the 76ers now. After Chicago, picking up the basket just moments ago. Yep, that one goes in there. You know, this is why Moses Malone's teammates like playing with him, because when 
They're uncovered and open. He finds them. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. Looks like to me the coach wants to talk things over and make some changes. Got to stay flexible with your lineups. And his guys know that. It's all about setting the team up for success out there. Or in the pass to Greenwood. From the strike, it's hauled in by the 76ers. Malone's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Here's Irving. It drops for his third basket. He's missed only one shot. They're not just on fire. Nothing is getting in their way on offense. It's practically supernatural. The defense is trying everything. Now, here's Warren. And he banks in the lane. And Philadelphia has possession. They lead by seven. They're coming into this game off that recent loss to Atlanta. You know, the failure to convert shots on a consistent basis... Over time, that's going to cost you in game. And most of those shots were low percentage. They have to work harder to set up their best shooters with good looks. The Bulls shooting to start this game off about 41% from the floor. Warren on the wing. Pass to Corzine. And the dunk by Corzine. Doesn't get any easier than this. Corzine getting the perfect positioning for the throwdown. Irving surveying the floor. The 11-footer, Jones, trying to get open. It's rebounded by Carr. So a great effort on defense there against a guy who typically makes that. Right now, it's simply the second shots that are killing them. I mean, they've got to do a better job securing the miss after playing solid defense. And it's so deflating giving up a score like that. Work hard to force a miss, and then it's all for nothing. Now, here's Warren. Here's Watley. And Jones pulls it down. Philadelphia leading by seven. From the high post, alone. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. That's classic Moses Malone right there, fighting for the rebound and then going up strong to put it back in. We've got 155 left here in the first quarter. I 
Whiteside Warren. 17 foot shot on the way. Yep, that one goes. You have to love the unselfishness on display there. Excellent pass. Outside Edwards kicks it to Richardson. Six feet out. And Malone with the basket on the assist by Richardson. Malone's got 16 points. Boy, Moses is such a capable scorer. He can carry the load all by himself at times. The pass to Greenwood. 11 left to play in the first quarter. And he uses the glass on the lane. Greenwood's got his third basket of the night right there. He's got a nice touch around the rim. The defense might be better off fouling. Timeout call the 76ers. Here's Malone. 17 points for him last game against Atlanta. And his two blocks really had an impact, guys. He really made his presence known and proved once again that he's a very capable defender. Now here's Malone. And it's Malone finishing it off. Yeah, Malone showing you the bounce. Ah, he got up there. Dunking comes pretty easy to him. It's quite easy when you get that high on. Green, the screen, Theus. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That was an easy call on that shot. Refs will call that one 10 out of 10 times. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. first free throw is good. You've got to like the confidence behind Reggie Theus's game. He knows how good he is and plays accordingly. And so he makes both from the line. And so Edwards will bring it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. Seven-point differential. Pass to Harper. We've got 22 seconds left in the first quarter. Five on the clock. Screened by Malone. High post try. 
Rebound by the Bulls. The defense willing to concede the mid-range as the lesser of evils. It paid off there. Here's Theus. A shot that time, not on target. A big-time effort for Moses Malone, providing a lot of energy for the 76ers. Scoring, rebounding, he was all over the place during that quarter. They are riding his performance right now. We come back right after this. enjoyed the broadcast so far halfway through the first half in this one and guys what's your take on the 76ers so far well the goal clearly for them has been to attack the paint and get that ball inside every chance they get and i just love how aggressive they were in that first quarter getting inside it's paid off and i'm sure they'll keep at it routins with the bucket routins. and the 76ers lead by nine mike we have a new commissioner coming in what should be the direction of the league expand Ooh. i like how we've made the playoffs bigger but don't stop there more live tv coverage more franchises around the country the nba should continue to grow here is edwards after the bulls pick up two here's routins edwards passes to malone stolen balls not loose Up top, Edwards, defended by Scott. To the inside. Malone is doubled. Pass to Harper. And that's out of bounds. Philadelphia will retain possession. Just four to shoot. And another turnover here by Philadelphia. Bulls trail by seven. Pass to Theus. Green, the screen. Over Johnson. Green, no luck. Not officially a block, but it's one in my book. He really affected the shot. Was in great position. Textbook defense. Here's Routens. Now the pass to Malone. Malone is doubled. Just five to shoot. Edwards, that's good. You know, I think they took a bit of a chance there going to the double team, and that left another guy open out there. Bulls have gone one of three to start out the second quarter. Here's Theus. 23 points for him the last game against New Jersey. And he makes plays for others, so he can beat you both ways. Shoots over Harper. That's good, and the 76ers' lead has cut back down to a seven-point margin, getting the points there from Theus. Now, here's Harper. D right on him. Edwards passes to Harper. Malone dishes to Edwards. Goes up on the high post. And the 76ers tack on two more. And when you're guarding him, you've got to fight over the top. Lock and trail around the screen and deny the perimeter shot. Carr with the screen on Harper. V is the pass to Green. Here in the second quarter, about three minutes played, and that one is off. Passes it to Edwards. Here's Malone. It's good, and that takes him to 77% shooting this game. 10 for 13. Pure effort there. He just wanted it more. And he lobs it up for the rim, and it's Scott with the jam. 
The vision for Theus is so elite. Check out that dish. The 76ers leading by nine. Edwards looking it over. Outside Harper. Back to Edwards. Down to five on the shot clock. Pulls it up. Offensive rebound. Hey, sometimes you just got to take a foul. That's the best way to protect the basket. Yep, better to send them to the line than allow an easy layup. And let's get your guys' take now on the hustle steps for the 76ers. Look at the fast break point total from these guys. I mean, they're really hustling, working hard. And those hustle points are showing up on the scoreboard. Another thing they're doing right early on tonight is attacking the offensive glass, outworking the defense, and winning second chances at the hoop. That free throw, no good. Some changes for Chicago. Diakite is checked in, and Warren subbed in for Carr. Jones checked in for Philadelphia. Cheeks checks in for Edwards. Good on the second free throw. Here's Watley. Inside, Theus, and down it goes. Dunk through off a wonderful assist. What an athletic play by Theus. Finding room to deliver a slam. Cheeks kicks to Hart. Back to Cheeks. Puts the move on. It's deflected. Outside Warren. Down low. To the paint. Here's Diakite, covered by Johnson. Diakite can't get it to go. Here's Jones. The basket good off the assist from Cheeks. Jones has got his first bucket of the night. Nice touch on the mid-range jumper from Jones. Going a little outside his usual area. A nice shot by Theus. Philadelphia leading by eight. Cheeks outside. Pass to Harper. Feeds it to Malone. Plays it up and banks it in. Malone's got 22. And hey, this demonstrates how great Malone is. Making the defense look ineffective down low. Pass to Warren. The pass to Diakite. Six on the shot clock. Here's Theus. No good that time. Excellent D that time from Jones. Drives to the hoop. Cheeks the pass to Johnson. Green with the rebound. Bulls trail by 10. Here's Warren. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Second personal foul. First team foul. Chicago shooting their fourth and fifth shots at the foul line in the game. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw good from Warren. Some changes for Philadelphia. Irving's checked in for Johnson. And it's Richardson in for Harper. Oh. 
Both free throws good for Moore. Already a very confident player. Knocking down those free throws only fuels that. Cheeks outside. The feed to Irving. Richardson outside. Irving dishes to Richardson. Back to Irving. Passes to Cheeks. Rebounded by Corzine. He thought that one was going down as soon as it left his hands. Well, with good reason. That was a great look. Just bad luck if it didn't go down. And it's good for two. Watley's got his second basket of the game. The 76ers leading by six. Now Irving. 23 points for him the last game against Atlanta. Cheeks outside. Back to Irving. Pass to Malone. The second chance effort. It's deflected. Look at Corzingo after the shot. Using his reach to knock it away. Johnson, he's checked in for Moses Malone. Coming onto the floor for the 70 seconds. Number 45, Clement Johnson. to the right wing. Outside Irving. Chicago foul. Call. First personal foul. Third team foul. Cheeks outside. Some nice ball movement here by the 76ers. Five on the clock. A strong defense of Carr. Good at making his presence felt. Irving can't hit. Carr, the pass to Watley. Richardson against Warren. Here's Greenwood. Up and in for the basket. Number four. That makes him four for five now. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. Cheeks outside. It's Richardson on the wing. He's covered by Warren. Here's Johnson. Another miss by Philadelphia. Bulls trail by four. Warren with the ball. And it's Richardson picking him up. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. It's so productive when Carr is aggressive on offense because he forces defenders into tough spots. First trip to the line for him here. Shooting two. That's good from Carr. And talking about Carr, he's a tremendous defender in his position and really a smart offensive player as well. He makes one of two that time. The shot by Corzine, no good. And so it's Irving with it, bringing it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. They've led by as many as 11 points. The 76ers shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. At the line for two. Shoot two. And he knocks down the first one. misses. Bulls trail by four. 
And here's Kong. Pass to Watley. Here's Greenwood, defended by Jones. And that one is stuck right through. And it's the 76ers with the ball. Following this one, they get to host the Rockets. That'll be the first of two straight at home. Cheeks the pass to Richardson. Nobody near Irving. Greenwood grabs the board. Greenwood's got rebound number eight now on the night. Warren kicks it over to Corzino. Inside, Kong. It's hauled in by the 76ers. Jones has got his fifth rebound in this one. He feeds it to Richardson. The pass to Irving. Now, here's Cheeks. Pocket six. Goes up on the wing. A nice shot by Irving. Irving's got eight points. So clever with the ball. Cheeks sees the floor and finds a way to set the guy up. Bulls trail by four. Here's Watley. Corzine inside. He's guarded by Johnson. They get it again, and Corzine gets it to go. You know, a seven feet tall and pretty solidly built. Corzine does a nice job boxing out to create those opportunities for himself. And the 76ers decide to take their first time out here. A minute 50 left in the second quarter. Johnson finds Irving. Passes it to Cheeks. Shot clock at six. That one's good. Maybe that'll get him going after two for six start. Nice utilization of the screen there by Cheeks. Bulls trail by four. Pass to Corzine. Unloads from nine. He squares up and sinks it. Corzine's got four points this quarter. That's exactly the kind of possession you want on offense. Great chance, and they convert it. Pass to Jones. Feeds it to Richardson. And there's the pass to Cheeks. At the elbow, Irving. 76ers moving the ball around. Richardson kicks to Irving. Off target from three-point range. 
And Chicago shooting 53% in the second quarter. Good ball movement, yielding good looks. And he gets it to go as they call the foul. He's on his way to the line for one more. What body control from Theus fighting through the contact. He's gone two for two at the line so far. And the 76ers making a change here. And it's checked in. Reggie Theus. One shot. Find the lane. Find the lane. One shot. And that one falls, and that puts him up by one point. Philadelphia shooting an outstanding 53% for the game. It's Richardson on the wing. Cheeks the pass to Irving. Over Theus. And the 76ers tack on two more. An accomplished mid-range scorer. I like watching Irving get it done from there. Here's Watley, defended by Cheeks. Watley passes to Warren. Here's Greenwood. Here's Corzine. And Jones pulls it down. Jones has got six rebounds now in the game. Right side Irving. The basket good off the assist from Cheeks. Cheeks has got his third assist on the night. You can't get that one. And that's it for the first half of action. What's been a very close game here. 76ers lead by three. Stay with us, folks. We'll get back just after halftime to start the third quarter. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, the second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams try to gain an edge. An exceptional performance so far from Moses Malone. Incredible that already he's at a double-double and we still have half a game to go. You've heard of stuffing the stat sheet. Well, he's going to make it pop with the things that are going on for him. And if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. Here's Watley, defended by Cheeks. Warren with the ball. Passes it to Greenwood. Here's Theus, covered by Irving. Just five on the clock. Knocked away. Here's Greenwood. He trains it as the shot clock ticks down. Greenwood's got the first bucket of the third here for the Bulls. The 76ers lead it. Cheeks outside. Dishes it to Richardson. Malone against Corzine. Here's Cheeks. Chicago grabs the miss. Corzine's got his sixth rebound on the night. Here's Watley, defended by Cheeks. Here's Corzine. And it's Malone with the rebound. And so it's Jones. He'll bring it up for Philadelphia. They've led by as many as 11 points. The teardrop, just a wonderful shot to have in your bag. Bulls trail by three. Warren on the wing. Pass to Greenwood. To the inside. It's hauled in by Malone. Malone's got rebound number 13 with that last one. Here's Richardson. Good, and the assist goes to Malone. Malone's got three assists now in this one. For Chicago, they've gone one of three since starting the second half. Porzine with the screen on Irving. Oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. Warren against Richardson. Pass the Chiefs. And here's Malone. And the layup's good off the glass. And it's a 7-point 76ers lead. Tell you what, looks to me like they're trying to crack this door open. Yeah, they've got the momentum. Can they separate now? Kicks it to Warren. 
little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the third. And Jones sends it back. They recover it. The 76ers leading by seven. Oh, the lob to Irby. Going to go that time. They both saw the lob open up, but it just didn't quite ferment for them. A little misread on the timing. Not sure who mixed it up, but they'll get it straight next time. No need for anything flashy or fancy. What they need right now is points. That's right, Clark. He just wanted to make sure they converted. But no reason not to put some power behind them. Let the defense know you're coming for them. With him, the scouting report says you've got to go over the screen. Absolutely. He'll hurt you from deep. So you have to fight through those picks. And the first time out of the game called for Chicago. The pass to Watley. Here's Theus. Pass to Watley. Lock at six. Pass to Corzine. Nice defense from Malone. The 76ers leading by seven. In the corner, Irving with it. Outside, Jones. Here's Richardson. And it's Theus with the rebound. For Chicago, they've gone just 25% from the field here in the second half for two of eight. That one good for two. Theus has got 17 now. And while Theus is a gifted playmaker, Reggie can also call his own number. He'll light you up on his own. Cheeks the pass to Jones. Here's Irving. Hits from the high post. He's got 14. And when he's getting his on offense, it usually results in a lead like this. Here's Theus. 17 points in the game. Here's Corzine. The teardrop falls in. Good touch from Corzine. Establishing himself inside and getting the job done. Cheeks kicks to Irving. Here's Malone, up and in on the way. Malone's got four this quarter. And it makes sense why they keep running the offense through him, proving how efficient he is. Here's Theus, covered by Irving. Theus, the pass to Corzine. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. It goes on Moses Malone. 
Stopping Porzing clean inside is not easy. He goes on the attack and gets himself fouled. Two shots. Shoot two. The first one falls. So he gets them both. This is what makes him tough. A big guy who can knock him down from the strike. Cheeks outside. Chicago foul. And this Harper, he's checked in for Philadelphia. Personal foul. First team foul. 76 er substitution. Number 21, Leon Parker. On the wing, Jones. Taking a look at his stats, he's averaging around nine and a half points a game. They get the rebound. The putback. Great positioning on the putback. Assertive play. He attacks the miss and sends it home. Bulls trail by seven. Here's Watley. Outside Warren. To the right side. Five to shoot. Screen by Corzine. Here's Watley. And Philadelphia grabs the miss. Malone's got rebound number 19 now. Incredible board work. Yes, that goes in. Looking unfazed on the way up. Irving shrugging off the contact like a champ. The Bulls shooting well. Warren inside. He's guarded by Harper. Look out, Irving outworking the shooter and getting a hand on the shot. Back to Jones. 
And there's the feed to Irving from the line. And that comes off the assist by Jones. The assist. Jones has got three assists tonight. All right, well, look at how the hustle game has been going for the 76ers. You have to like what we've seen from them defensively. They've done well contesting shots and have managed to come away with some blocks. And I love the fact they kept the pressure on, really pushing that ball, running it up the floor. I love seeing that. A team staying aggressive even when they're playing well. Now, here is Irving. Hey, go, 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 go. Some nice ball movement here by the 76ers. And he lays it straight in. Jones has got the lead up to 13 now for the 76ers. Sharing the wealth, Moses Malone, more than just a score. And he lobs it up. Like clockwork, extremely efficient, textbook alley-oop play right there. Yeah, you know this, Clark. It takes a lot of athleticism to pull it off like that. Show you right. They just wish they could find that opening every trip down. Help close this gap. And out of bounds is Chicago gains possession. A sensational block that definitely deserves another look. An emphatic rejection that was. Boy, you've got to appreciate that kind of forceful in-your-face defense. Chicago making a switch here. Cars checked in. Bulls trail by 11. Here's Watley. Screen by Corzine. Here's Greenwood. Good work defensively by Jones. 76ers shooting has been outstanding in this game at 58%. Took him no time at all on that one. Irving's got 20 points. What a sweet jumper that was. Great J from Dr. J. To the left side wing. Here's Greenwood, defended by Jones, and they pick up two. Greenwood's got 18 points in the game. That's an awful defensive lapse, allowing the uncontested jumper. Feeds to Irving. Back to Cheeks. Outside Irving. Pass to Cheeks. Harper with the ball. He's covered by Warren. Shot clock at five. Just his first attempt. The kick out to Irving. They get it back. Malone's shot good. Getting rewarded for all his work down low. And that's what they want from him. If he goes unchecked on the glass, they'll end up with a lead like this more often than not. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. Green is checked in for Dave Porzingis. And Philadelphia also making a switch. Johnson's checked in. Oh, 
And Chicago has possession, trailing by 13. Outside Warren. Six to shoot. And the pass to Carr. The Bulls need to get a shot off here. Buckley, good. Now, here's Jeeps. Six points for him. He kicks to Harper. To the middle. Here's Irving. And it's Chicago with the rebound. Seemed as if he had the angle to finish, but the defense did just enough to throw him off. Oh, they look confused and lost out there, just getting out hustled every trip. And there's no excuse for that. You have to show more heart when it comes to closing out plays. Now, here's Warren. Malone with the steal. Three on three. Harper the pass to Cheeks. Johnson kicks to Irving. Some nice ball movement here by the 76ers. Five to shoot. Shot left block. Malone, no one. And so Green will bring it up for the Bulls. It's a 13-point game. Passes it to Watley. Green with a screen on Johnson. Greenwood. That one rolling around and rims out. Philadelphia shooting a smooth 58% from the field. Everything going according to plan for them on that end. Well, this man has led the way on the boards. And it's about more than the numbers. It's about the mentality, the toughness he brings. The 76ers leading by 13. Cheeks the pass to Irving. And Malone gets double teamed. Outside Irving. A baseline J. Philadelphia foul. Johnson. First personal foul. First team. Some changes for Philadelphia. Mountains check in. And it's Edwards in for Cheeks. And Chicago shooting 37% so far in the third quarter. And they're not satisfied with this lack of offensive execution. Here's Green. Johnson with the rebound. Johnson's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Irving somehow ignores the tight D and gets the layup. Irving's got 24. Even when you contest Irving's shot, he's capable of burning you. This is how gifted a scorer he is. Here's Greenwood. Here's Green. Offensive rebound. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And an easy call for the officials there. Yeah, don't argue that was pretty obvious. For Chicago, they have gone 9 of 10 from the line, so making the most of their chances. Two shots. Shooting two. And the first one drops. on that one so he goes one for two at the line five seconds separating the shot and game clocks here's Irving and it's Theus with the rebound Bulls trail by 14 Green inside Johnson's there Eves passes to Green count the bucket coming off a perfectly placed assist Green's got his second basket of the night use the pick get space Easy, smart basketball. Here's Irving. And he was able to put it up in time, but doesn't fall. And here at the end of the third quarter, it's a double-digit ball game. Philadelphia ahead, up by 12. And when we return, we'll get the fourth quarter rolling right here on 2K Sports.
finish the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. Well, 76ers leading by 12. Right side, Edwards. Harper the pass to Malone. The dish to Routens. Outside, Harper. Over in the corner, Edwards. That falls. High speed that time from Harper. And the 76ers lead by 15. Here's Theus. He's guarded by Harper. It's stolen by Edwards. Now Harper. Kicks to Routens. Pass to Edwards. Pulls up on the elbow. It's rebounded by Carr. The bull shooting 43% from the field. Pass to Eves. Here's Theus. Here's Eves. Six on the shot clock. Scott with a screen on Harper. Eves passes to Scott. Shoots over Harper. Scott, good. Nothing like setting someone up. Feels better than making a shot. To me, at least. Outside, Edwards. Mountains passes to Malone. Banked in off the glass. Malone's got 10 points here in the second half. It's obvious he's looking to continue to attack on offense so this lead can expand. And if you were hitting like he is in this one, you would be too. His efficiency has done a lot for them. Here's E. The pass to Carr. Here's E. Out to the wing. The three. And it's Theus missing. The 76ers leading by 15. Routens dishes to Edwards. A 15-footer. Chicago grabs the miss. Not a bad look, just in fall. Here's Carr. No good on the fast break pull-up. The 76ers have gone 2 of 4 from the field since we started the final quarter of play. Routens kicks to Hart. Edwards passes to Harper. Wants to get it to Malone and does. And it's blocked by Scott. 76ers foul. Dave Corzine. He's checked in for Chicago. And the 76ers also making a change. Cheeks checked in for Edwards. Here's E. Passes it to Theus. Harper with the steal. Fast break, Philadelphia. Here's Cheeks. That falls. Nice feed that time from Harper. Harper's got his third assist on the night. Bulls trail by 17. Outside, Green. Pass to Corzine. He gets that one. No defensive pressure at all. I mean... That's not going to get it done against him. Cheeks outside. Here's Malone, and then Malone with the dunk. And this guy, to me, embodies determination. Small at his position, but he still gets up and keeps plays alive. That's mind over matter for sure. Here's Theus. And it's Malone with the rebound. Here's Harper again, Philadelphia. I really like how they've worked to get the best shot. Good, better, best. Never let it rest. Showing great patience there. A total team effort in this regard. Everyone working together and being selfless on offense. And it's the Bulls with the ball. The 76ers getting the bucket. Carr with the screen on cheeks. Eves passes to Carr. And the basket is good. Nice focus from Carr. Was ready when he caught it. The 76ers leading by 17. And here is Harper. Pass to Johnson. To the wing right side. 
Clock at six. Cheeks the pass to Malone. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Clearly, Moses can play tough when he needs to, absorbing a foul in the middle of his shot. For Philadelphia, Moses Malone at the line for two. Shoot two. Free throw drops for Malone. You know, Moses Malone is a true two-way player. He's an outstanding talent on both ends of the floor, able to score in dominating fashion, and really a ferocious rebounder. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Bulls trail by 19. Here's Theus. Fires, high post. Shock up two there. Theus has got 19 points. You know, I think they've got to show a little more anticipation dealing with these screens because right now they're just laying on them and getting stuck. Look, you have to go over the top or duck under. Right now they're seemingly trying to go through the screen. Harper kicks to Routens. Malone against Corzine. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. A mammoth in the post. When Malone gets established there, you pretty much have to foul him. At the line for the 76ers, Moses Malone taking two shots. Shooting two. No good on the free throw. And he sinks the second. Here's Watley. the pass to Warren. Here's Theus. The kick out to Warren. Down to five on the shot clock. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. It goes on Moses Malone. They send Corsi into the line. He's way better there than most centers. Dave Corsi, two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The free throw drops for Corzine. Good on the second, so he makes them both. The 76ers leading by 16. Cheeks with it. Good for another field goal. Number five in the night. Five for ten shooting. Well, I think he shot the ball well, guys, but I don't think he shot it enough. The more shots he gets from here on out, the more they'll stretch out this lead. Here's Watley. Corzine with a screen on Harper. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. That's on Julius Irving. Second team foul. At the line for Chicago, Dave Morsese. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls for him. Richardson. He's checked in for Harper. And 
so he hits both. The 76ers leading by 16. Down low. It's intercepted. To me, those are always hard calls for the officials. But I don't think he was set right there. I agree. But those type of plays can go either way. Bulls have gone 4 of 7 for the field since the beginning of the fourth. Motley passes to Theus. Malone comes with the double team. Here's Corzine. I like seeing Malone, a solid defender, get a hand up and challenge the shot. Passes to Richardson. Cheeks outside. Here's Malone. The basket good off the assist from Cheeks. Cheeks has got five assists in the game. Chicago calls. Here's Warren. Pass to Watley. Over to the wing. Here's Theus. And again, Chicago. No good. The 76ers leading by 18. Shoots from 14. And that's out of bounds. Philadelphia will retain possession. Philadelphia with another turnover here. Here's Theus. Corzine with the screen on Irving to the inside. The shot by Corzine, no good. And so it's Jones. He'll bring it up for the 76ers. Oh, the lob to Irving. It's tipped. Here's Watley. Pass to Warren. Now Corzine. Shoots over Cheeks. Tries again, and he sinks the layup. Corzine's got eight points here in this quarter. You know the coach loves to see that extra effort for the second chance opportunity. Well done. 
Jones, the pass to Malone. Richardson outside. Warren against Irving. Shoots over Warren. Irving misses. They got a great look. Close in. Sometimes the ball just doesn't go through the hoop. Driving to the basket. Now the pass to Corzine. The second effort. Malone with the block. Now this is blocking with authority. Malone putting some extra emphasis on the spot. Richardson. Good. Oh, man. Check out the handle. I didn't know he had that in his game. Bulls trail by 18. Coach, a tough stretch for this offense. I'd say they need to get back to what they do best. Right now, that's a question mark. A big question mark. Cheeks outside. Passes it to Richardson. Here's Malone. Makes it off the glass. Malone's got 41. Keep doing work inside. Close range looks like that will keep your lead safe. Stay on the attack. I agree. The defense has to shut the door on those kinds of shots if they want to turn this around. Chicago calls timeout. Here's Watley, defended by Cheeks. Pass to Warren. Here's Watley. Back to Warren. Six to shoot. They double him with Irving. Here's Watley. A putback. It's good on the putback. Great activity level on the boards. Impressive. Wow. The 76ers leading by 16. Now, here's Cheeks. Richardson outside. Pass to Jones. The 76ers need to get off a shot. Malone. Greenwood grabs the board. Greenwood's got 15 rebounds here tonight. Thea's the pass to Corzine. Shoots over Malone, and the officials call him for a three-second violation. When you're struggling to get ahead, a mistake like that is doubly damaging. Absolutely the wrong time for that kind of slip-up. I agree. It just destroys your momentum. Back to Cheeks. Irving passes to Malone. 
over Corzine. And it's Malone missing. Bulls trail by 16. This one is all but over. I mean, what a ferocious and commanding performance for the Sixers. They did take higher percentage shots throughout, and Clark had paid off for them. Yeah, it sure did. I mean, I love the patience leading to that consistency shooting the ball. I mean, those things go hand in hand. Patience, good passing, and good shooting. And so taking a look at their record, a nice milestone they'll be picking up tonight. He wins on the year now. And what a tremendous standout performance it was for Moses Malone. Oh, I liked how he mixed it up on the glass. Wasn't afraid to get in there and do the dirty work. Showed some real grit and toughness tonight. Here's Greenwood. Good work defensively by Jones. Cheeks against Corzine. Back to Cheeks. And the pass to Irving. Philadelphia moving the ball around. Oh, that's what? Six second difference between the shot and game clock. Here's Greenwood. Powered down after the assist. Let him into the lane. You know, at six foot seven, Theus has really good vision, able to see over most defenses, and he's very unselfish too, and really does a nice job getting his teammates involved. Cheeks outside. So it's Philadelphia winning this one easily. Picking up a road win, Mike, uh, pretty handily tonight. On the road, you usually take what you can get. So they should be very happy with this victory. And that about wraps it up for Mike Fratello, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, and our entire 2K crew. This is Kevin Harlan thanking you for tuning in. So long and good night, everyone.